begin by telling you that guns, ammunition, arrow and bow found in Springland's house. Two persons in custody. A hire car driver and his reputed wife are in police custody after guns and ammunition were found in their home. The police acting on information on Tuesday went to a house at Springland Village Quarantine Babies, which is owned by two pensioners and conducted a search for the illegal items. The pensioners occupy the lower flat while the upper flat is occupied by a 27-year-old male hire car driver, his reputed wife and their 5-year-old daughter. A police report during a search in the presence of the occupants, the police found one black and brown polymer 18-inch 9mm pistol number PF9405C, one magazine containing four live rounds, one SA Sports Outdoor Gear with bow and arrow, one 12 gauge shotgun wrapped in a black plastic bag with scotch tape and one black power line air gun 9mm with gas and pellets. According to a police report, a further search was conducted at a house owned by the 27 year old taxi driver at number 76 Village Quarantine Babies where two holsters and a pistol cleaning kit were also found. All of the occupants of the house were arrested and taken to the Springlands Police Station. The two pensioners, who are the grandparents of the woman, were questioned and released on self-bail, while their five-year-old child was left in the care of an aunt. The police investigations into the matter are ongoing. Shh. It's your new secret. The all-in-one weapon for perfecting imperfections and capturing flawless skin. A lot of brands forget women of color or just don't understand that we come in all shades. From caramel to ebony, there is such a range. Iman Cosmetics is for every woman and features a line of skincare products and cosmetics including 16 foundation shades, powder, concealer, lipstick, blush, eyeshadow, highlighter and BB cream. Visit us at Lot 75 Swamp Section, Rosal Town. That's behind the market. Or call 337-4422 or 688-9249. Shh. served as returning officer for Region 4 remains in custody and this news has understands that he was interviewed by the police without the presence of his lawyers despite him insisting to have legal representation. Mingo was arrested by the police at his Maikoni Law East Coast Demara home on Tuesday afternoon. He was immediately taken to the Criminal Investigations Department at Ivleri. The situation is becoming worrying to one of his attorneys, Darren Wade. Wade said he has been trying to speak to the crime chief or a senior officer since last night, but to no avail. I understand he may want to do some sort of interview with him. I have made attempts to have an audience with Mr. Blanham and Mr. Caesar. However, um, those requests at this point in time um, has not been addressed. Um, I understand that he's in a meeting. Yes, so since last evening, um, you will. Um, if you can remember, um, Mr. Ford and myself made, attempt to, made attempts to meet with them, but we were unable to meet with those um, senior ranks currently. I must mention, though, that the ranks downstairs, the sergeant and so forth, be very cooperative and very kind. A different attitude from last night, I must mention that. There's the issue of the 72 hours, which I believe um, the police in Guyana try to, uh, most of the time, um, abuse, but it doesn't mean that you could hold a person uh, because the law says 72. You have, must have some reasons to hold him beyond, um, to hold him for the 72 hours. But I don't see any reason at, the, at this point in time because it's an offence that um, would have been um, co um, allegedly committed um, some time ago, some months ago. And Mr. Mingo is not a flight risk. He's still in Guyana, and he's available for police questioning at any time. Three other GCOM staff members were arrested and are in custody. They are Carlin Duncan, Shafar February, and Michelle Miller. Miller had to be rushed to the hospital, where she's currently a patient. Mingo was held by the police as the lawmen probe an allegation of falsifying electoral documents. Last night, the 69-year-old man was grilled by the police while his family stood outside awaiting word from the police for the reasons for having him in custody. 
We had not too long ago a situation where Mr. Christopher Jones was arrested. His house was searched despite an order being made by the High Court. Um, tonight we have the abuse of Mr. Mingo's rights as a citizen of this country. And this reminds me of the course of conduct and the then habitual attitude of the police force prior to 2050. But it is very important for every citizen to recognize that it appears that the police force is on the course of conduct of abusing citizens' rights once again. And I would wish my colleagues in the Bar Association to understand that democracy is more than just elections. This is an entire system and the rule of law. I have heard them conspicuously silent. I haven't heard Mr. Husty, the president of the Bar Association, Ms. Pauline Chase, who is the secretary, or any other of my distinguished members of the Bar, condemning the course of conduct and the attitude of the police in relation to the Christopher Jones matter or in relation to Mr. Mingo so far. But I'm patient and I look forward. I look forward to them issuing very shortly statements condemning this sort of attitude by the police. Mingo was expected to appear in the Georgetown Magistrates Court on Monday, but he was never served the private charges which were filed by Minister of Sport Charles Ramson. Mingo was taken to task by the People's Progressive Party following the March 2nd general and regional elections and was accused of fraud by the party. Shh! It's your new secret. The all-in-one weapon for perfecting imperfections and capturing flawless skin. A lot of brands forget women of color or just don't understand that we come in all shades. From caramel to ebony, there is such a range. Iman Cosmetics is for every woman and features a line of skincare products and cosmetics including 16 foundation shades, powder, concealer, lipstick, blush, eyeshadow, highlighter and BB cream. Visit us at Lot 75 Swamp Section, Rosal Town. That's behind the market. Or call 337-4422 or 688-9249. Shh! Before we go, University of Ghana to commence its academic year in October with online classes. In a statement to the major, UG said due to the ongoing situation with COVID-19, the institution will continue to work in a safe mode online with essential services being performed on the university's campuses. As such, UG will offer its courses online for semester one of the 2020-2021 academic year. According to UG, important dates to note for semester one are as follows. The new academic year is scheduled to commence on October 5th, 2020. However, registration for the new and continuing students will be held from August 31st, 2020 to September 30th, 2020. Orientation will be conducted online from October 5th. 2020 to October 9, 2020, and the first day of classes will be held on October 12, 2020. The end period for the late registration is November 6, while the end period for semester 1 change of registration, 2 requests for transfers, 3 requests for exemptions of courses, and 4 requests for withdrawal from courses are November 13, 2020. The deadline for payments of fees or submission of loan award is November 27, 2020. Examination period for semester one will be held from January 25, 2021 to February 13, 2021. The semester is scheduled to end on February 13, 2021. According to UG, the situation will be reviewed and updated accordingly for semester two.